Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Monday morning motivation. Clive, another business strategist here, just to give you a bit of a start for the week. Hopefully, we'll get you excited. Have you already figured out what you'd like to do for the week? Have you come up this morning with a brand new idea of what might take you forward? Or are you like some of us who like to plan well ahead so that every Monday morning is not a surprise? You can hop into your Monday knowing precisely how it's going to run because you've planned it all out before, you know exactly what your objectives are and you know what your to-do list for a Monday is. Same as every other day, you've got a to-do list. Are you on top of it or is it knocking you down? Is it uh, overwhelming you? Is it making you anxious? And as a result of that, is your motivation failing? Are you missing out on being excited about going to work. And of course, lots and lots of messages that I see out there on social media say, are saying that motivation is difficult. It's all very hard and turning up each day, each week is tough. And if we're in business for ourselves, we shouldn't be doing that. And indeed, if we're turning up to work, for somebody else, we shouldn't be bothered about our motivation. We should be able to turn up and go, wow, this is going to be an absolutely great day and then produce a great day. So how do you do it? One of the things that I've learned across the years is that there are a lot of things that we can turn into a habit. And the thing about habits is that they'll form whether we like it or not. So. The important thing about that is that we'd better be in control of whatever it is that we're turning into a habit. Otherwise, we come up with these habits that might be doing us damage. And it's so easy to fall into a habit. And having said that, lots of people tell me that it's really difficult to form a habit about doing things that are uh, good and profitable and beneficial. And that ain't right. <laughs> what we really need to do is we, we need to understand that a habit is formed by doing something repeatedly. So whatever it is, if we just repeat it and repeat it and repeat it, it will become a habit. So being motivated, being excited about going to work can be created as a habit. So how do we do it? First, look to an affirmation. Now, you might have heard about affirmations before. Affirmations are really cool things. If we get the right affirmation, it will allow us to see very, very clearly what it is that we want to achieve. It will also show us how we can go about achieving it. So how do you identify a good affirmation? What we want in an affirmation is a story indicating what we would like to achieve and presenting that to us as if it's already here. So notwithstanding that it's something that's going to happen in the future, what we want it to do, to do is to indicate to us that we've already achieved it. We know that there's a time period between now and when we're actually going to have it, but it appears to us that we've already achieved it. Therefore, that makes us confident that we're going to have it. That means it makes us confident in delivering whatever our delivery is, that is the work that we do, so that we do it well. And in doing it well, what do we end up with? We end up with happy customers. And if those customers are achieving what they wanted as a result of our input, we achieve what we want. Um, if I can borrow from Zig Ziglar, who's a, a master speaker of uh, a few years ago, um, he was well known for saying that we can have, that you can have whatever it is that you want, provided you help enough other people achieve what they want. And so this is what work is really about. It's uh, providing a service to somebody else so that they can achieve what they want. Now, a second way to help with motivation 
is to undertake a, a daily gratitude event. And ideally with that, you sit down in a quiet spot or you don't have to sit down, but find a quiet spot and just think about the day that you've had. Recognise those things that you are grateful for and express that gratitude. Make it known that you're happy about uh, having done this or achieved this, whatever it is. And it's a good idea to have a journal to write that down. Write down uh, the things that you're grateful for, why you're grateful for them, etc. Not only will it help you to turn up to work the next day feeling better about the world, uh, it actually becomes a habit that you're grateful for things. That encourages other people to actually feel good about you. And so it makes work and life ever so much easier. So having an affirmation to allow you to conjure up those dreams, those goals, etc., that you want to achieve, being grateful for the things that you've already achieved actually speeds up the process of you bringing into being those things that you want to achieve. So just a couple of little uh, things that you can do through the day which can change your world enormously and uh, removes the problem of, I don't know what to do for my motivation. You'll have it all there in front of you. And of course, longer term planning. The longer out that you can plan, the easier it is to turn up for your work and to do your work. So to help with that, there's the business life planner from business, business, business. It's chock full of all the things that you need to keep you motivated. Um, you can put all your to-dos in there. You can put your goals in there. It allows you to review the activities that you've undertaken uh, so far in your year. So this is the 2020 version of the business life planner, which has been around for a few years now. And uh, lots of folks out there have found it uh, particularly helpful. Uh, along with the planner, if you pre-purchase this month, uh, you'll find that you'll get a bonus call with uh, Linda Reed Hennever, who's uh, the go or known as the go-to girl in marketing, and also with myself. Now that's valued at over seven hundred and fifty dollars. So, if you're looking to make twenty twenty worthwhile. Go and get yourself a copy of the Business Life Planner and hop into that. But in the meantime, get out there and have a really great week. And remember, if you can find an affirmation that'll help you, uh, that you like, and get yourself a gratitude journal. Get onto those two little things that'll change your life enormously. In the meantime, have a great week. I'll see you Monday.